sounds like I have a really sweet ride, right? Or some nice exhaust. No, I absolutely do not. That is a, a hole in my, my exhaust. Uh, day eight? Yeah, day eight. Or day nine. Day nine. It's day nine. Uh, Nexus 100. And I think the last video is not going to be very, very great. I don't have like an awesome exit for it. But I didn't want to make a three day video. I didn't want to skip a day of posting. So I really want to make sure I'm on that daily posting, making sure I'm doing that daily work. Um, I got a little further with the script last night. Um, it, it's right now, I would say 40% of the script writing process is just me trying to figure out how to get the app to work right. Because the software I'm using is called uh, Celtics, Celtics, C-E-L-T-X. Um, I'm going to close the windows here and let's hope for a little bit better sound experience. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm using a software called Celtics. Actually, let's let's post up. So I'm gonna hold this thing. There we go. So I'm using a software called Celtics. Celtics. What I call it, Celtics. Uh, but it is a script writing software. It well, it was a software. And now it's more of a. Man, I feel like I'm breathing exhaust because of that thing. So let's let's open up the windows just so I'm not dying today. I'd prefer to live. Script writing software, very good if you get, you know, they've got multiple tiers and stuff. I just use the free one because I don't really need a lot of features. I'm not writing a movie script. Uh, it's got settings for novels. It's got settings for, for screenwriting, for comic scripts, anything. So it's a very, very nice setup. I really enjoy it. But the issue is, Lately, their apps have not been really performing well. I was working on off my phone last night, and it was very much not letting me edit. So I had to back out of the script to save it, go back in to edit the line that I just did. Because if I let's say tried, you know, I because it auto indents for you. So it auto indents like if you want, if you're going to go to the next page, you just tell it that that's what you're doing. And it auto indents, it auto sets up, auto sets up. But the problem with that is, if that doesn't work right, when you let's say try to backspace and erase the thing you just wrote, it erases that entire block because I don't know because reasons. So that's where I'm at right now, just trying to get the script to work right. I'm I'm getting more of a feel. I've got the entrance. I've got the. So something happens in the first issue. At, so the first, it's really difficult to talk about this without, let's say, you, the viewer, knowing the story. But let's say they go off onto the mission in the first one. In the second one, we see them approaching the mission objective. And I've got this, what I believe to be a wonderful sequence laid out of, of them approaching and you know getting to the objective so I, I have that down pat and it's beautiful and I love it and I can't wait to get someone to draw it and that's that's gonna be the next challenge if it were if you were uh, is to find an artist that whose style really fits what I'm looking for because this is gonna be a dark book it's gonna be gory uh, in certain spots uh, I'm, I'm really looking to find someone whose style matches that, who can really complement the story as well as maintain a quality level of art. So I'm, I'm trying to find trying to find that right person and I'm trying to find somebody who would hopefully be willing to do some, let's say preliminary sketches and things like that so that we can show that off and then maybe kickstart the rest uh, because I'd love to pay someone to do this I just currently do not have the fundage for that. And uh, I'm trying to make other things happen to get the funds together for that. But right now I'm looking at at least, 11, I believe I did the math and I'm looking at least 1100 a book for getting an artist. You can look at it this way. It's about $100 a page for, for an artist. It's more. It's more than 1,100 a book. It's it's like 2,500 a book, because it's 
art, colors, letters, all that stuff for 10 pages. Heaven forbid I had wanted to do a full full length book, I'd be out of I'd be out of luck basically. But anyway, the story is where I'm at right now and it's coming along very well. I just dropped off some stuff at uh, UPS, uh, the speakers that I got and was going to review last night, I was actually right about to start recording a review, but I wanted to give them a listen r- real quick, because I just plugged them in, make sure they work, and I turned back around, I was actually watching Scrubs, so I went back, I'm like, I'm going to finish this episode of Scrubs, then I listened to the speakers, and when I turned back around to listen to the speakers, they had no power. I did all the troubleshooting, I tried everything I could, and they just had no power. And then I also bought this lens kit for the phone, and that was just garbage. Uh, Two of the three lenses did nothing. They actually wouldn't even let the phone focus or the iPod, uh, and it just didn't work. I actually tried it on another uh, older phone that I had. Still didn't work. I mean, this thing's got laser autofocus, and if it's not going to work, that's not going to... That doesn't help me in any way. Uh, So right now, I am at my comic shop, which for some reason looks closed. I'll have to look that up but i'm at my comic shop to hopefully hopefully pick up the uniques i don't remember when the release date was but it was may today is may 31st so it should have come out by now the book was not here apparently it doesn't come out for two more weeks which is weird because it was a may may pre-order pre-ordered in like april or march regardless two more weeks but for a very low price, I was able to pick up some uh, some manga spawn figures. Seven bucks a pop for figures that were originally sixteen to twenty dollars. It's a good deal. is harder than I thought it would be. I am having trouble getting everything done in the time that I've allotted myself and the time that I have available in the day. But that's kind of the whole point of this, is to figure out that time management. Uh, It is 11 o'clock at night, almost 6 minutes to 11, and I am just now getting the today's, what is supposed to be today's vlog up. Now that's for the last two days. That actually brings us current. So that means today's stuff is going up tomorrow. So when you're watching this, it is going to be the 1st. And I'm recording this on the 31st. So that's, well, presuming you watch it when I put it out. Um, so the, the 31st is going up on the 1st. And from here on out, that's how it's going to be. Uh, I can't really afford, I don't have like that buffer of two days. I keep getting this stupid notification. I might actually have to switch Twitter apps. Uh, I didn't do any deadweight stuff today, uh, if I'm being honest. You know, I'm the, I'm the only person I'm accountable for, based to myself. Uh, but I didn't do any of that today. I did work on the script. Uh, tried to work on the script last night. I think I mentioned that the app wasn't working, so that's kind of, you know, 40% of that is just trying to figure that out. I uh, did a little bit of gameplay today. Uh, I have, haven't done anything in the house, really. Um... That's such a slow, slow going process. It's gonna have to be one of those things that I I wake up for. Uh, my other roofer came today, gave me, well, is gonna send me a quote of what it would cost. So then when the insurance people call me, I have I have a price in mind. Um, gotta go from there. I still, I'm still waiting for a call from them, but you know it was Memorial Day yesterday. They got a, they probably got stuff to catch up on. So I'm gonna get this vlog up and then I'm gonna go to bed. So appreciate you guys for watching. <laughs>